Congratulations on your debut. Um, but uh, obviously a, a tough day for your team with the bat. You recovered it a little bit with the ball. How do you reflect on the first day? Uh, first of all, thank you. And what I can say is it wasn't a great day. Like we didn't start the way we were supposed to be. But then we're always going to come back and come back strong. So the focus now is more on to taking the positive out of today's and going forward from to tomorrow onwards. What sort of positives can you take out of today? Obviously, our betters need to bet long because I don't know if you saw the Australians, the more they bet in, they get, get better. So it was actually, the ball was coming nice on the bet. So that's the positive that we took out of today's. So we bet long and it will get easy. And you must have been pleased with, with your wickets up the top as well and some, some big names. Um, what, how did you feel? I mean, the, the deck's obviously pretty good, the pitch is pretty good for fast bowling. Um, but what sort of went right for you in that spell? Uh, I watched the first half of the Australian bowlers. Then I was sitting there and I saw that there was something on the pitch. So I said to myself, I'm going to make use of it. So I think I went there with a the positive mindset of hitting my lance and length. So, and I eventually did that and it worked for me. Australia spoke about needing to bowl a little bit fuller and, and lots of visiting sides in Perth have difficulties picking up the, the length because the wickets are a little bit bouncier. Um, was that something that you came in with as a plan to bowl a little bit fuller with the extra bounce? No, like I said, the pitch played very well. So we normally hit our lines. So our South African lines here is kind of difficult. But then because there was something on the pitch, so all the bowlers, we just said, if we hit the deck hard, then we're going to get something out of that pitch. And it eventually happened like that. When did the team find out that Marizam wasn't going to play? And what was the sort of reaction to that? Uh, can you please repeat the question? Um, when did the team find out that Marizan wasn't going to play? And what was the reaction to that? Oh. <laughs> I, I think because she was sick, so the medical had to look up, uh, look out to it, look, look out to, to her illness, and we only find out uh, now. Now, when we have to play, that she's not going to play. So yeah. So, so do you think that affected maybe the team when they came out to bat? Obviously, it was pretty tough uh, conditions, of course, um, very good bowling. But do you feel like the team maybe was a little bit rattled without her presence in the team? I don't think so because we all confident enough and we have a strong betting lineup and we have match winners in our team. So I won't say her not being here it affected the team. It was just a matter of time that it didn't work accordingly today. Guess the team is so far behind at the moment. What do you do to try to get back into the match? Is there still hope? Yeah, yes, we are positive enough of coming back and then playing to the best of our abilities. It's all about going back to the throwing board and tweaking out the positive out of today's going forward. And to get that like, wicket of yearly, how exciting was that for the team? <laughs> it was very really exciting. It was unfortunate for her to be out on 99, but it was, I think it was a wicket that we've been wanting because she has been on the pitch for so long. So we wanted to take her out, but unfortunately we did that on her 99, so it was working in our favour, in for our team. Healy and Mooney have shown um, your batters as well that if you get through the start, there's plenty of runs to be scored here. I think they batted well, and obviously I'll say yes, our batters, <laughs> our batters eventually they saw how it's like to be there for a long time, and then the more you're in there, the easier it comes. So I think tomorrow, going forward, They'll, they'll try to stay, to stay long on the pitch and then you will try to get better. Thank you so much. Moving on over to Zoom. Um, any takers for the first question? Thanks, Morgan. And I'll go to Kino next. Morgan, please go ahead. Thanks, Dieter. Hi, what's the butter? Um, great seeing a lady from the Free State doing so well <laughs> with the ball this morning. Um, what's the butter? How much? That wicket of Healy, has it given you ladies a bit of sense that? You know, it, it's relieved a bit of pressure and just giving you a sense that you may be not quite out of the test yet and there's still quite a bit of cricket to play. Oh, sorry, I didn't get that question right. Can you please repeat it? Um, he is wicked. Did okay. it just um, release that pressure on the team a little bit going into the back end of the day? Just give you that sense that tomorrow you can perhaps do something as there is still quite a lot of cricket to be played. No, yeah, I think her wicket changed a lot because, like I said earlier, she has been on the crease for quite a long time and then the partnership she had with, uh, uh, what's her name? 
yeah, the better that she was bathing with that partnership also it makes us uh, maybe stay patient because it test cricket test you everything. So here we get it was I think game changer for us. So we still have to come bounce back again tomorrow. We still have another five more weekends to take tomorrow. Thanks, Masuata. Thanks, thanks, Morgan. Uh, Keenan, go ahead. Thanks, Peter. Um, well, well, today, Masuata. Um, just uh, we saw the the one we could see the um on the field today. The Australia took the end um with their fast bowlers, Darcy Brown bowling well, and you showed up um with three wickets in the opening spell. Could you just um maybe point out where the other South African fast bowlers um struggled, where where you and and the Australians excelled? I think our bowlers, they were tend to, they were bowling too much full. They were bowling half volleys, if I can put it that way. But then I had a chat with them during the game, like we don't have to actually bowl full because there was still something on the pitch and the ball was still swinging even though it was later during the day. So I just said to them, the only thing that they need to do is to bowl like back of length, that hard back of length and it will create chances. Because that's what, that what works for me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Keenan. Uh, Kailani, please go ahead. Uh, thank you, Lita. Uh, congratulations, first of all, on your uh, test debut. It was uh, lovely to, to see you with the red ball. It's been a long journey coming for you as well. Uh, what it's like to play test cricket for South Africa personally for you and then do well to take uh, those uh, top wickets uh, and Top three of those partners who have done exceptionally well in this format. For me, it's always pleasure and privilege to represent your country, more especially in all the formats. So today's test, it was my first and my uh, debut. So I'll say taking three wickets on my debut, it's always a nice feeling. Hopefully, I'll get five <laughs> coming tomorrow and the other days. So yeah, um, I think I'm happy with the performance, if I can put it that way. And yeah, let's hope for that tomorrow and the rest of the days, everything will go well. Uh, and just you know, more from me, you know, it is uh, Laura Wilbard's second test as a player and first test as a captain. Uh, and we saw that she has been backing her players very well. So uh, how's it like from the captain's side, even though she performed with the bat has uh, been not that good in the series, but she's been backing her players really well. So uh, how has Laura been as a captain, do you think? It's always nice to play under uh, Laura Wolfert. She's a great person and she's so understanding. Like you rightfully saying, she's always there for her ballers and bearers. Even though the bearers didn't go, ever, like things didn't go well, she's always there to support them. So she begs us all and she believed in us. So it's so nice to be working under 